Rapidly advancing urbanization is leading cities worldwide to reinvent the way urban mobility will work in the future. Mobility, the movement of people and goods, is the lifeblood of cities. And cities with clogged streets are like people with clogged arteries. Cities like Singapore and Gothenburg are already working on developing new mobility models, including autonomous transportation. The city of the future will be aiming towards autonomous driving, be it in cars, in buses, or in other transport modes, because it has a substantial impact on the security, on the safety, on the ecological balance. There's a wide variety of AV-enabled business models that can be deployed in cities. And the most obvious is probably moving people from point to point in a city, either in a first and last mile paradigm or general point to point transportation. Just look at the city of the future. You have fewer accidents, you have parks instead of parking garages. The World Economic Forum in collaboration with BCG, partnered with the city of Boston to pilot autonomous vehicles on the streets of the city and to rethink the future of urban mobility. We are in the middle of a groundbreaking transportation and mobility planning effort, Go Boston 2030. And we've heard from thousands of Boston residents about their vision for mobility for the future. A few of the things that the people want out of the Go Boston 2030 plan is, is a transportation system that's safer, more reliable, and certainly more accessible. And I think really what I want to do is make sure that we are truly an inclusive city in the sense of whatever mode of transportation somebody wants to do, we, we are ready for it. We're working on three things. One is the overall mobility vision. The second thing is the strategy for autonomous vehicles fitting in into this mobility vision. And the third thing is bringing the cars on the street, so helping them to pilot the autonomous vehicles on the streets of Boston. I think we have the world's most innovative uh, residents and the most uh, entrepreneurial constituents, and we also have some of the world's most complex and challenging uh, streets and weather conditions. So I think there's probably no better place to be testing autonomous vehicles. So in Boston, we're looking at three ways that we're testing autonomous driving. The first one is that we are interested in the technology in the vehicle and how we can support the development of that technology. The second one is business models that really support what we're hearing from our residents about making transportation more reliable, accessible, and safer. And the last one is about the infrastructure that these cars are going to move around on. The natural world can throw a lot of things at you. We can't test over all of these conditions, but we try to find the most interesting and difficult cases and get our car on the road in those conditions. We are on the road collecting data, mapping, doing shakeout testing. We're going to start testing in the Raymond Flynn Marine Park. It's a small part of South Boston in the Seaport District and we're going to be expanding out our testing from there. So the kinds of testing that we've been talking about with the City of Boston and the World Economic Forum are the kind of shared naturalistic driving opportunities that will help us to identify important shared policy issues, operating issues that affect all of us. We're working very closely with the City of Boston and really having a seat at the table to understand how mobility will change for consumers. You know, I think this is one of these things where we may not see massive change over the course of a year, but I think we're going to see massive change over the course of 15 years. And I think we want to make sure that we are taking the steps right now that can help us create that future that all of us most want in 2030. It's a great time to be uh, talking about autonomous vehicles.